So I had someone ask me to show them how to use Procreate. I got Procreate two years ago and I'm still learning how to use some things, but I feel like I have the basics down, which I can definitely show you guys. First, let's talk about the basics. So you see on the right here where the plus sign is, the top right, you click that and it gives you a bunch of options for canvas sizes. I always go with screen size because that way whatever my drawing ends up being, I can crop it to work. But you can you can see here there's like a comic option, which I think is super cool. So I'm just going to do what I always do. And here is where the, it says canvas. You can crop and resize. So whatever you want it to do. There you go. Click the the like screw driver thing again. And there's also drawing assist or drawing guide. Reference. You can use an image, whatever you want. Let's see. Here are all the like fancy editing type things. So let me add some color to this and I will be right back and do. So up at the top of adjustments, you can see that there's color balance, curves, hue, saturation, all that. So I'm going to do it with the layer so that it changes all of the colors. So you can see it'll change as you move the dial up and down. Pretty cool, right? Kind of forgot where the real colors are. I think that's it. Saturation, really bright, kind of like that. And then not. So let's, let's keep it very bright. Brightness, darkness, all that good stuff. Okay. Then you can use curves, which is a little bit more fancy in my opinion. You can move them down and it gives you gamma, red, green, blue. So right now I'm affecting the blue colors. So I'm going to do it right there. And then Gaussian Blur. So this one with layer, it's just as a whole. So you can see it says Gaussian Blur slide to adjust at the top. When you just move your pen across the paper, it'll start blurring everything. Then let's say you want to do it with the pencil. This gives you more precise or accurate where you want to put it. So let's say I want to I want to blur this pink. So all the pink I'll just go in with my Apple pencil or your finger, whichever one you want to use. Now, here is a good example of how to erase. You use two fingers to undo. And then you use three fingers just tapping the screen to redo. Undo, two, redo, three. You have motion blur. So let's do layer first to show you. Makes it look like it's moving, dizzy stuff. The pencil, which is the same thing. Perspective blur. This one I almost never use, but it just kind of gives it like a tunnel vision type thing. Liquify. This one is what I did for this background. I take the liquify and they give you so many options at the bottom. Push is the one I did. I just <laughs> play around with it. So that's one way of doing it. And this one takes a little bit longer to undo. Twirl. If you just stay put. It's like a tie-dye type thing, which I find very mesmerizing. There's also these where you can go like that. Let's say you can do any shape you want. It's the little S at the top. And then look, whatever shape you made, boop, it's gone out of the picture. If you took any Photoshop class, this, what I just went through, seems very familiar to you. And to explain the lighting, it's kind of difficult. I would suggest looking up YouTube videos because I looked up how do I make dramatic lighting in my Procreate portraits or something like that. 
and it basically gave me these ideas. So I use, I select the color I wanted, so I wanted a blue, and this is really important. So do you see that little letter right next to the check mark? Some of them have N, some of them have DA. If you click on it, it gives you different settings. So you see if I move it, it changes it. But I just basically built up all the layers. So you see, and this one add makes everything really light. I didn't do that. So here, I surrounded the whole picture with shades of blue to make it look like the phone is changing her whole surroundings because I wanted it to look dark and as if it was night. So I did color dodge for this and basically you just have to play around with it because if I did any of the other ones I feel it looks weird but this way it looks more like light is surrounding it and if I take this off by unclicking the check you can see it just kind of takes away the whole dramatic effect. Well, so for this one, I did a drawing, a sketch of Madison Beer. And so I put one of her lyric sheets or musical note sheets, however you call them, of her song Good and Goodbye in the back. So I that is just me bringing in a picture and lowering the opacity. So you go to opacity that's right here. So you click on the layer that you're using and this is what it would have looked like if I kept it on 100. And that just didn't look right to me. So you lower the opacity by just dragging down on the bar. And you go to wherever looks good to you. I also did that here. I did... I love when things have like a, like a paper background to it. So I took a picture of my sketchbook first. And that's where all these spirals come in. Then I took a picture of some paper and I put it on just like where my notebook paper would be and then I just did a bunch of sketches of Timothy Chalamet and I basically layered them on top of each other because you can see there's different layers and I made some less opaque than the other. So finally here are some tips and tricks that you're going to need to know to make your life easier when using Procreate. I don't know all of them, but these are the ones I do know. So, you are going to be able to make a straight line if you just make a line and hold straight down, and it'll do it for you. And it makes a straight line in whichever way you need it. Really useful for if you need to be precise. You can do drawing guide, but not only do you just have grid, if you do edit drawing guide underneath it, they give you isometric, perspective, and symmetry. Symmetry is the one a lot of people use. Let's say you need to draw a bottle or something. This allows you for both sides to be even. See, so whatever you do, it'll be exactly the same on the other side. Make sure every time you take off drawing guide, you take, you unselect assisted drawing or else that will mess up with your freeform lines. 